everybody. Um, you know, today is the feast day of St. Philip and James. Um, and, you know, for me, I you don't know that I know that my, it's my mom's birthday. So I was like, excited at the same time. But I think, I think I'm kind of emotional too, in one sense, you know. I think I left it to my home when I was 15, at the age of 15. Uh, to become a priest. Uh, it was a young, early age, but I was so excited for Jesus. You know, so I don't remember missing that part because I, I, my focus was always on Jesus. But I think when you get older and older, you start to see, oops, you know, you, you know this is something that you, as your mom, um, that you miss because I think I saw Father John, visited Father John Snowbrook from uh, Morrisville. He came with his father and mother uh, here, and I saw Father Dwight, you know, Kathy and Bussy sometimes. So I feel sometimes when I, when I see those, like, oh, I'm missing those moments as a, a mom and dad. I, I do enjoy when I go there, but these are like birthdays or, you know, some getting together. That is where you start to feel that missing, and I'm sure that you all have the same feeling. But, you know, when you start to become a priest, you know, there is no, you're not looking back, but you're looking, being in a parish, but you forget the moment, you know. Uh, so I did make sure I called her yesterday, you know, to forget. But sometimes you completely forget the day is so busy. Um, but I know that she, you know, as a mother or a father, they wait for their call or to be that time. And I could see the connection there. There is so much connection, you know, like when you're a kid, you probably don't think, but now you're thinking because they're getting older, they're getting slowing down, they're getting sick. So the kind of worries are there. And so I know I could feel, today, you know, yesterday almost I feel this emotion. I could see that my mom was, you know, she was, she was trying to call me here because she wanted to know what happened with Father Dominic. You know, I, yeah, I don't know if you know that Father Dominic was a very famous priest in India. Um, he's actually founding, starting a, a two-side female and male congregation. So he's one of the saintly priests uh, who's going to be uh, beginning a new congregation as well. So that's why when he came, he, she wanted to know what happened with him. Uh, and uh, so I didn't have a chance to call back to tell the whole detail yet. But you know, I could see that mom was looking for it. Why I'm saying this is today's gospel, you see the same, I could see the same connection, Jesus and father you know he's so connected and i could see that what i feel probably to my parents he's feeling to the to the father you know and and he's saying that you know there is a part i think is a, a john um 3 30 or four uh, uh i don't remember the exact number i think 14 30 i think um he says that uh, father and i are one one and the answer question is here Show us the Father. That Philip asked that question. Show us the Father. He's the first apostle to be called. All right? The first one before anybody else. And he's asking the right question. Show us the Father. That is enough for us. And that he's right asking that question because Jesus says in John 17, 3, eternal life is knowing Jesus Christ and his Father. So he's saying exactly the point. He said, show us the Father. He knew. He knew the Father is the key. Father is the main point. Once you know the Father, there is no going, turning back. So he's asking the question, show us the Father. And this is, should be our question. Once you know Jesus, you're going to say, show us the Father. I mean, you, you will not ask for anything. And you will ask for no money, no cars, no houses, nothing you will ask. But once you know Jesus, you, your question will be, show us the Father. I mean, you can't ask anything else because Jesus is going to lead you to where? The Good Shepherd leading you to the Father. Because when you walk in, that's where you are enlightened by the Holy Spirit. The guide and the counsel and the paraclete will help you to get to the Father. And this way he says, I am the way, the truth is the Holy Spirit. Jesus and the Holy Spirit will take you to the Father, the life. You know, when I got this passage, you know, I was just excited because Jesus was the way. You know, if you notice every prayer in the Catholic Church, it is recited at the end, it says, Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Every prayer in the Catholic Church has been set up, set aside to say through Jesus Christ. So no one can take us to the Father except Jesus Christ. So that's why in our mind, we, sometimes we don't know the theology, but our Father says, actually has prepared all our prayers, everything and through Jesus Christ. And when we take Jesus Christ upon us, Jesus is going to give us the Holy Spirit. That's why Easter season is important. Every Easter season is every reading is saying Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Jesus and the Holy Spirit. This is how it goes. The, 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 the power and the wisdom. The power and wisdom. We're getting this power where to the lead to the Pentecost. You know, that's where we're going to see the Spirit of the Father, the Spirit of the Son, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. 
to all one spirit that we're going to meet. And that's where we're going. And that's where Jesus says this, you know. But the connection, I could see that Jesus is saying, Father and I are one. You know, I was saying, I was saying the other day, I don't know if it was in Bible class or something, you can see the parallel when Abraham takes Isaac to the Mount of Moriah, isn't it? Mount Moriah. He takes Abraham, take two servants. He's a two servant. Okay? He takes two, two thieves. Okay? If you notice the other part, two, two servants he takes and he puts the wood on the veil on the shoulder of the sun. Okay? And he climbs up the, the mountain. In parallel in Calvary, who comes? Taking the wood of the cross. Jesus. Jesus Christ. All right? And two thieves. <laughs> Left and right. And he climbs up. But what you don't see in the statue of the cross, <clears throat> there is wood, there is a sun, there is a thieves. And who's missing? Father. The father. You, you can't see the father. Okay? You'll ask the same question what Philip asked. Show us the Father, what is the answer? John 14, 30. Father and I are. So when you look at the crucifix, did you ever see the Father in that crucifix? If you didn't look again, Jesus saying, Father and I are. And this is where we need to get. When you, that's why the more we look, that's why all the saints, there is no saint in the Catholic Church without holding that crucifix. If you notice, there's no saint. Every saint is holding that crucifix because they were looking Father in Jesus Christ because they found the Father. That's why they couldn't take the eyes off from the crucifix. Why I'm not carrying the crucifix yet? Because I didn't find the Father yet. If I find the Father, you will have that crucifix. You will be looking at it because that's all it is. Eternal life means finding Jesus and knowing his Father. John 17, 3. It says it. It's a clear definition. Eternal life is knowing Jesus Christ and his Father. So let us ask today in the intercession of Philip and James, you know, they are the first apostles to show this beautiful meaning of Jesus Christ. So let us look at the crucifix. You know, if you've got a chance, you know, you get the other call, just look at one today. And if you get one chance, I'm not asking you to do too much. Just look at that crucifix. And if you ever see the Father of God, the Father is hanging with Jesus. <laughs>